Hey guys, Tennessee Yankee. Hey, sorry, part of this video shot a little bit out of order, but I am going to be working on my tractor ballast today. Um, I got about nine bags of 80 pound uh, cement. That'll probably be a little bit more than I need. I'm going to probably be making about a 720 pound ballast for the back of my LX2610. So I, uh, I decided to go with a trash barrel. Uh, I got this at Tractor Supply. Hated to buy a, a trash barrel just to tear it apart, but by the time I found a you know 30 gallon drum and went to drive to get one, it's more expensive than this. So this seems to be pretty good, and I like the tapered shape of it. Um, and as you can see, I got a draw bar. Um, I'll show you where I fit that, but I'm basically fitting that through. I also bought a few other things. I want to. I'm going to put a uh, a hitch in here. This was just a raw two inch receiver, 12 inches long. Uh, so this came just bare metal. I painted it up today and then I drilled uh, some holes in here. And then as you can see, I drilled a hole through the top. And when I was at, uh, when I was at Tractor Supply picking up the draw bar, the category one draw bar and the trash can, I saw some of these out in the yard and I needed some rebar anyway. And this was priced just as good as rebar. So I picked up a few of these stakes. And my whole idea here with this uh, hitch receiver that we're going to put in the ballast is I'll probably, you know, I'm only burying this in the cement. So my thought is I'll run some rebar this way all the way up the barrel. And then I'll run some across this way. And I thought, hey, why not leave this little stake part on there? That'll just help, you know, bite into the concrete too. So we'll fit that as we go. Um, then I'll throw a few other pieces of rebar in there. I got a, a top link. Let me show you that. So here's the top link. I got this off of Amazon. Um, of course, I'll put a link to everything in the description that I'm using here. Um, they, they also had a, I ended up buying my draw bar at Tractor Supply because the Northern Tool one that was on Amazon was going to take a little too long to get, but that was actually a little bit better price than my one at Tractor Supply. This did come with a pin too, but it's sitting out at the tractor at the moment. Okay, so let's get after this and uh, I'll show you some of my steps. Okay guys, so one of the first steps I did here is I took my three point, um, dropped it all the way as low as it'll go. I just stuck my draw bar in there and then I put my uh, trash bucket up to here and I made a mark with my wax pencil here you can see I just want to make sure that you know I obviously want to be able to get under this heavy thing so that would be the lowest point so I'm going to just make sure I'm higher than that I assume I'm probably going to try to put the bar probably right about here but first I wanted to get that kind of that visual and then obviously it's going to be sliding back more in here Still not sure about the top link. I think I'm going to just pretty much be centering that Towards the middle of the bucket. So here's my draw bar mark. I went ahead and transferred that to the side I want to go through right here um, This looked visually where I made the X out there look good to me um, That's 14 inches. This thing is about 28 28 and a half inches tall So that'll put me right about the center and the center here all right, I got this side started. What I really like about working with this uh, trash can too is it's really easy to cut with a utility knife. All right, here's my dry fit. I got it raised up and I got this uh, top link part in here. So what I'm gonna do, it may clear. I'm gonna try to, to sink this, this uh, T portion right here, the top of the T. I'm gonna try to just sink that pretty much flush with the top of the concrete. So I think I'm going to clear all the time, but I've seen some other guys do a little notch out there. So I think I'm going to do it about a two by four sized notch out in the center there and just do a little bit of relief. So I just eyeballed this hitch mount. I'm going to go about right here, which is about eight and a half inches off the bottom of the barrel. That'll put it under my draw bar. So here's what I want to accomplish. I cut that notch in there and as you can see that just kind of lets it ride straight up there. So I'll probably maybe run that two by four or whatever back into here and just keep that notch out of the cement. 
Okay guys, I think I'm about ready to pour. I'm not gonna go too crazy with this notch in the back yet until I get some cement in there. And once I get up to that area, maybe I'll play around with that a little bit. But the most challenging part was trying to get this, uh, this receiver in there. So I don't know if that's gonna hold good enough. I got a few pieces of rebar in there in different directions. Um, and I just kinda got everything taped in there to, to keep the cement from seeping out. Um, so we'll see. And I got some bricks down there. I got the bar centered. Then my thought is with this top link, I got two pieces of rebar going through it. And then I'm just holding it up here right now. And then once I get some cement up here and starting to firm up, then I'll figure out, you know, how I'm going to hold that in place. All right, here we are, guys. I bought nine bags. I just started mixing up my fifth. So we're getting closer. Just about six and a half. Just about six. So I got six and five eighths here. I got six and three eighths here. Six and a half, six and a half. So that's something good to check, guys. All right, I got to clean up this top link a little bit. Hopefully this doesn't get too set on me.
is still looking pretty decent right here. We're getting close to the top, so probably going to put in maybe a little wedge here in a minute. Or I might just wait till the cement's in and then just use that to kind of screed it out of the way and let it sit there. Okay guys, so here it is, finished product. It ain't the, <laughs> ain't the prettiest thing, but it should do the trick. I ended up just taking a chance and uh, I just put some Gorilla Tape back in there to contour the the barrel again. I think I'm going to be fine without that uh, with that top link reaching up there, taking a chance on it. Alright guys, here's how she turned out. I took the barrel off of it. Um, I was under the assumption it's just going to crack after the first few times of using it anyway. Plus I wanted to see my cement handiwork. Overall it looks pretty good. Looks like at the bottom over here. Maybe, I don't know what what causes this. Maybe I didn't have quite enough moisture in the my first batch of cement in the bottom there. Because all the rest is really quite smooth here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm still going to take it really easy on it because it's been a week. I'm just going to move it to uh, a different spot to get it out of my way here. But I'll probably let it cure for a few more weeks before I try to use it in a ballast capacity. But overall, I think it turned out pretty well. It's uh, The hairiest part was trying to get this thing here uh, positioned properly and, and stay in there. You can kind of see the outprint of a, a board here. What I ended up doing at the end is I put a board under each side just to kind of make sure it was staying where I wanted it to while it cured. Um, and then something else you didn't see in the video, I had a few other pieces of rebar that as I was going, I just kind of stuck them down into different spots in there to help strengthen it. So well, let's hook it up for the first time and see, uh, moment of truth, if that top link actually fits in there properly. I sure hope it does. adjustment you can see I'm still not level I need to let that down some more if I really want it to be level which I suppose I need to if I was going to use the trailer hitch function but then when I go to level it this gets in the way here so I'm going to bring it down extend it and see what impact that has all right I'm extended raise it up one more time yeah see I, I get it now why guys do that I'm not gonna, I'll be okay without it, but if you're building this, I would definitely do that notch like I was attempting to in the beginning. That makes sense because really, I'm okay right here, but you want the ability if you needed to, to go higher. And you can see here, I'm about, I'm about limited out. Now what I could do is I'm still in my bottom hole over here, so I could get it up in the top hole. That would help. 
But overall, yeah, there it is. Let's get rid of the rest of the plastic on that thing. Hey guys, Tennessee Yankee. Thanks for watching. If you found this content helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button on your right. I have other content linked for you on the left side. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching.